about this really really funny story regarding Greta Thunberg who was detained at a German coal protest right this went viral obviously across social media I'm sure most of you have seen this I'll quickly read the article it says um, climate campaigner Greta Thunberg has am was among those briefly detained by police at a protest in western Germany she was protesting with activists seeking to stop at the abandoned village of Lert Lutzeref, was that how say Lutzeref, 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 from being demolished for an expansion of the coal mine. They're going to demolish an abandoned village. If it's abandoned, why does it matter? I guess that's probably the wrong question to ask if you're a climate activist, right? I do apologize. Let's continue. Police clarified that Miss Farnberg had not been arrested and later she had been released on after an identity check. So clearly enjoying all this because this was shared all over the place on social media. The picture of her being carried away by the Polizei over there in Germany, um, you know, with her feet up in the air, smiling and just with a big grin and enjoying every single moment of attention because clearly in this world, you can't do any good deed unless the press and the media are involved because if it's, it's like a, a common adage out there, right? if a tree falls, and no one heard that did the tree actually fall did the tree actually fall it continues the swedish um activist was detained after a group rushed towards the ledge of the gar weld a uh, gaz gaz wheeler two mine okay well man mad name officers also confirmed that all of those detained would not be charged so they were just taking them away they'll cause much of a ruckus stay over there let the guys do their work and demolish this abandoned village and then we're going to go back to everything right um let, let us frack in peace <laughs> the video from the scene showed three officers carrying miss dunberg and protest as she smiled police also told reuters news agency that one man jumped into the mine which was okay so <laughs> jesus christ Someone jumped into the mine. That's her, obviously, in the back of the bus with the farm up. Activists urging, so I argue, burning coal mines undermine Germans' effort to reduce the greenhouse emissions. The government also pledged to bring forward a phase out of the coals in the North Rhine Westphalia. I wonder if, I wonder if, looking at this picture of her, looking at the, at the back of the bus, right? She's kind of the cutest picture I think I've, I've seen of her online because she generally, you know, doesn't look the most photogenic in the world. But I do wonder. Is there ever going to be a time in life where Greta Thunberg is going to be on Vogue? Is she going to get like plus up with makeup and shit and they're going to put her in like pretty girl clothes? I wonder if that would ever happen. If that's going to, that's a future coming up. Because I remember that happened with um, that girl, Tavi Genson. Do you remember her? Tavi Gev Jevonson. I think her name was like Style Rookie. Um, she was like a really influential influencer in fashion back in the day when she was like 13 or something, right? And she always looked really quirky and weird looking and kind of, you know, had like old lady clothes on and just was having fun with fashioning. You know, it was funny because she was always pissing people off because I think that was the same time that Brian Boy came on the scene. So imagine going to a fashion show and you're one of the established um, media partners and you're in the, you know, you're part of the established fashion industry and you're a bit, you know, snotty and a bit highfalutin and a bit up your own ass. And, you know, you clearly think a lot of yourself, even though you don't do nothing, you just write words about clothes that you don't design. And then you see some little spotty teenager which um, Tabby Genson was a star rookie at the time, sit in front row with a crazy hat on, wearing yellow, you know, a yellow skirt with pink socks and weird trainers. And next to her is flipping Brian Boy, you know, staring at his reflection every two seconds. It would probably piss you off, innit? But there was a moment where it kind of, it felt like, you know, that fashion would make sense for a girl that age, going through whatever she's going through, finding identity, blah, blah, blah. And then it got to a point where she got older and she started to become pretty. She started to become hot looking. She started to kind of look like a conventional you know, young lady, her age, that's into the stuff that she's into would look, would look like. And if I'm not mistaken, last time I checked about her, she's in Gossip Girl, actually. I don't know who she plays because I don't watch Gossip Girl, but I saw that she's an actual actress now, an actor out there, which is pretty a sick transition, right? From going from being this um, uh, fashion influencer at a really young age. Then I remember she built this platform. Yeah, she built like a, um, like a man repeller type um, teenage fashion thing that talk, spoke about mental health and you know um coming into yourself and stuff and whatnot it was a real cool little platform for kids that time and loads of really great writing in it and then of course she then transitioned to be an actor so i wonder is there an arc is there a story arc in the greta Thunberg story where she gets prettied up she gets put in vogue she gets put in w magazine she's you know at the flipping met gala and you know rubbing shoulders with all the flipping highfalutin people out there and being part of one percent 
I wonder if that's a thing. Or is she really going to live that life until the end of time where she's flipping, taking buses everywhere and not going on planes or walking or hitchhiking or riding a bike everywhere and not washing her hair and shit. I wonder if that's the case. I really do wonder. But anyway, the video of her getting arrested is hilarious because there's two accounts of it now. One account is saying that she got arrested and it was a big deal. And another account is saying it was all a big media stunt. So this is the official line um, that courtesy of the BBC that's shown her getting escorted off the call and I'm going to play now. How many press people are there actually? Hold on, let me rewind that back. Look at the amount of press that are there anyway. I guess it's all of them wearing the jackets, right? Police officers, some of them police, okay. The ones wearing high vis jackets are the police and media. Look how many of them there are. That's more than the actual protesters, no? There's around four there. Five or five, right? That's insane amount of press. There's a, somebody there with a with a with a with a, with a flipping what's it retractable boom mic, right? Crazy. That's a being pulled away by two police guys. They got the biggest and tallest police officers to pull her away because she's not a small girl. She's pretty tall for a girl herself to drag her away, right? Funny. Look at her. Anyway, the official video that's come out, courtesy of this ins this Twitter account from a guy called Ian Miles Chong, who I always see on flipping, you know, Twitter and stuff, this flipping, you know, this face only a mother could love. And for whatever reason, if I'm not mistaken, he's not even from America, but for some reason he's super plugged in and obsessed and cares about covering stuff that concern, you know, culture war issues, ideo ideologically based issues and whatnot stuff to do with you know colleges and work politics and all that sort of nonsense he's really plugged into it even though he's not american in the slightest i'm not if i'm not mistaken he's not even from there he doesn't live there if i'm not mistaken and he just you know for some reason he's the outlet for all this sort of stuff but anyway this is a video showing what actually happened and it features greta Thunberg standing there with two police officers while the media people take pictures that's basically what's happening here <laughs> <laughs> Wie sieht's denn aus mit der Badstraße? She's like, they're taking pictures of her. As she's standing there in between two police officers who are holding her arms. Not handcuffed or anything either, by the way. Why are they zooming into a Nike bag? She's not allowed to wear a Nike bag. Come on, guys, relax. So they stand there, let, 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 let it's what? Okay, so it's obviously not as crazy as a picture that initially leads the story and the bbc makes it look at it's clearly a bit more you know calculated than that but this shouldn't be a surprise for people like nothing is ever what it seems don't believe anything i think i've said it for a minute one on this pod especially in 2023 you should go into everything it doesn't matter how serious the allegations are just not believing people because people are full of shit myself included yourself included i know i know myself me personally i'm full of the most shit i talk the most shit this platform is specifically for me to talk shit so that i don't go crazy so if i know i talk shit how much more for the people who have you know dreams and aspirations to become famous who have brands that they want to promote or things that they want to push forward or a lifestyle they want to maintain or to reach in the first place what do you think they will do in order to do that of course they'll go there and invent a lie invent a fib or two because stories are fun stories are interesting and to the for the most part no one really gives a crap about the, the truth unless it obviously in you know has to involve law law enforcement or something for the most part people don't care about if your story if it's real or fake so people need to come with more evidence they need to come with more facts they need to come with more proof if they want you to believe them but again it's not their responsibility to do so because you know tell your story share it whatever it may be but in general everyone's full of shit especially in the media it's all a big game. Greta Thunberg is doing it, especially being, what is she, like 18, 19 years of age? Come on, man. She's grown up on the internet. She knows how to use it better than anybody. So even if she is a climate activist and environmentalist, she's definitely got to make sure that she, you know, uses those mediums to push her message forward. And also don't be mistaken 
or don't be naive enough to think there isn't some shadowy figure in the background also you know pulling the strings and pressing the buttons in the back you know like somebody financing these sort of things or co you know um consulting or whatnot it's all occurring in the background for sure i don't doubt it in the slightest but big up her anyway for at least living her raps in some extent even if it is a bit fake and a bit flimsy it's still better than nothing considering most of us out there myself included aren't doing anything but scratching our proverbial balls <laughs>